Hi, my name is Jen Delaney and I'm a counselor in Boulder, Colorado, and I specialize in understanding how the effects of childhood trauma, you know, our nervous system is created in that first two or three years of life, um, whether our parents attuned with us and we created secure attachment, that affects us the rest of our lives. And what's wonderful is if we didn't have that kind of attunement and if we have maybe avoidant attachment or, or insecure attachment or disorganized attachment, you know, we can repair that. The brain is moldable and that can be done not through thinking our way there. Um, if we could do that, we wouldn't have all sorts of uh, addictions and compulsions, you know, so we experience our way there. So seeking out a somatic counselor can be a great way to do it. I also have an online class called Heal and Thrive, Overcoming the Effects of Childhood Trauma. And you can look for that link down below. So we need to experience our way there. If we didn't have love or we did or we were neglected or, or we didn't even get attuned, let's let's say it's really subtle. You know, the attunement wasn't there, the connection. Parents were busy. They were like shuttling you places and they didn't have the time to really see you early in life. That creates disruption in relationships later in life. So we need to begin to develop the brain, the neural networks. <laughs> the brain is involved. It's not just about thinking our way there with the mind. We can't do it just with, you know, cognitive tools those might work for a little while but they don't last because we have to we have to get into the deep brain and that's an experiential that's outside of language so if we can begin to experience what love is to experience what secure attachment is and to recognize it so let's say we don't have the neural networks to recognize love or secure attachment we might be choosing the wrong relationships not because it's our fault but because it's happening it's a phenomenon it's it's happening because we we don't know how to recognize love so we want to develop those neural networks to recognize love and secure attachment and that can be done with visualizations with with tools to to stimulate the vagus nerve which brings on board the parasympathetic nervous system the calming part of the nervous system so if we combine these tools and these visualizations then we can begin to help our body to recognize love and to invite love into our lives so it the best way is to get some counseling, to choose a brain spotting therapist. Um, that's my favorite form, but there's somatic experiencing. And I combine brain spotting with uh, methods from internal family systems, which is a part work, parts work modality. Um, so anyway, anything that, that accesses the body is, uh, there's another form called EMDR that can be helpful depending on the client. I studied brain spotting, so I'm all about the brain spotting, but there are these other forms. Sensory motor um, modality is a great one too. So we want to access the deep brain so that we can access that trauma and help you to clear it so that it's not standing in your way. You might have real understanding for your parents like, wow, they had PTSD. They experienced a lot of pain and suffering. So of course they kind of reenacted, you know, they didn't have healthy relating modeled for them, right? So we can have that understanding. But in our body, when we're children, we usually blame ourselves. So we want to go ahead and begin to go back in time and help those parts of us who are blaming us to understand that no, what was happening, you get to have feelings about it, you get to be angry, you get to be sad. You know, it's not about blaming parents, but it's also about acknowledging ourselves, our young selves that had those different difficult experiences and the only way they could navigate it was to either compartmentalize, to dissociate, and then to turn it back inward usually. So we want to go ahead and go back and do the healing work. So again, you can check out my online course that I have or find a counselor and start to do this amazing, courageous work. Okay, thank you. Have a great day. Serenity, freedom, and joy to you.